Hi guys and gals, Al Smith here. Today we're going to talk about the Kaplan Convention. It's a companion convention to Flannery. And Flannery and Kaplan uh, give you the capability of handling some very difficult hands when your partner opens one heart. So let's look at Kaplan. Okay, the Kaplan Convention handles two bidding problems that can occur after uh, the one heart open. Uh, and, and Kaplan is best used with Flannery. Uh, if, uh, if we're using Flannery, we do not have to worry about opener having four hearts because opener with four hearts has two different bids. One, they would use Flannery if they had five to six hearts, four to five spades, and nine to 15 points. So you can see that with five hearts and four spades, uh, with nine to 15 points, our partner is going to open two diamonds. And we don't have to worry about the responder uh, overcalling one spade with four uh, uh, four spades and, and typically nine, nine to 15 points. And then if our partner is stronger, if they're planning on doing an open or reverse, so that takes care of the, the, the rest of the, the situation where there's five to six hearts and four to five spades. Okay, now what we're going to do is assume uh, that we're using enhanced flannery, and it's enhanced because it's five to six and four to five versus five and four, and that's uh, covered in lesson 5.1.13. Okay, and let's take a look at uh, the, what Kaplan does. First of all, it prioritizes the spade bit over the heart bit. Okay, and you'll see this as, the, as I, I discussed uh, the, uh, the Kaplan Convention. And I'm not sure if I really call it the Kaplan Convention, but the Kaplan bids. It also creates an escape path when the responder has shortness in hearts and uh, four plus spades. So if your partner opens one heart and you're sitting there with uh, a singleton uh, or a void in, in hearts, and four plus spades, it gives you the capability of escaping so that you don't end up in a terrible misfit. And it also gives you the ability to show no trump points when the not opening one no trump with five hearts. We'll, we'll talk about the specific shape of that hand that the Kaplan bids allow you to cover. Okay, first problem is that the responder has shortness in hearts. A partner opens one heart showing five plus hearts and 13 plus length points. Okay, and in this example, the responder has four spades, four diamonds, and five clubs, and a void in hearts, and enough points so the responder is going to have to make a bid. All right, now using uh, uh, if uh, using Kaplan, what we're going to do is we're going to bid one spade in this situation. We'll say that's you're going to say that's standard, but we're only going to bid one spade if we're using Kaplan. If we have four, when we have four spades, is when we've got a single to no void in hearts. Okay, so we bid one spade. You know, and how do we minimize the potential misfit in hearts? Well, if you're using standard American. Uh, you know your partner's probably going to bid two hearts, so you're going to sit there and swear to yourself, and uh, you're going to pass, and you're going to be unhappy because contracts at two hearts. The Kaplan solution, uh, uh, what it does, it, it, it commands the opener uh, to bid two hearts with three spades. So if the, the opener has three spades in conjunction with uh, the, the five five plus hearts to open one heart, we will bid two spades, okay? And the worst case scenario then is that you can pass and you'll have a seven card bid, okay? And uh, that's because uh, the, and generally the, the, uh, the planetary opener cannot have four to five spades and less than or equal to 15 points because that would be five, sp five hearts and four spades. Okay, and Flannery covers that. So that allows us to use, to bid one spade in this situation. And when we do that, it commands our partner. It tells our partner that we do 5% of the time we're going to have four. 
95% of the time, we're going to have five plus. But it allows us to bid once paid, and our partner knows because the, the possibility exists for it in shortened hearts, we'll bid two spades with three spades. Okay, the second problem arises when the opener opens five hearts with uh, one heart with five hearts, two spades, and three, three in the minors at 15 to 17 points. Okay, uh, what this does is it makes this opener second bid very, very difficult. Okay, uh, and uh, if the responder bids one spade. All right, now let's take a look at a couple of example hands to, to better define the problem. In this first hand, uh, our, uh, the, uh, the, this, and we're going to look at the opener's hand. The opener bids one heart, and our partner bids one spade. We go, aha, we're playing Kaplan, so our partner could have shortness in hearts, or he could have five plus, uh, he could have uh, uh, five plus spades. Okay, so we go, well, what are we going to bid after our partner bids one spade? Well, we, 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 in this particular hand, because we've got 12 high card points, we're going to bid one no trump. It fits really nice into the standard definition of one no trump in the range of 12 to 14. And we've got two spades, so we've got a balanced hand. Looking at the second example, the second hand example fits really nice into jumping to two no trump. The opener jumping to two no trump is showing 18 to 19 points. So it's pretty much the same hand. So we've got the one no trump bid and we've got the, 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 the two no trump bid. Now the third hand here, we've got problems, okay? Because if we look here in, within the no trump responses, the, uh, the one no trump is 12 to 14, and uh, the two no trump is 18 to 19. And what are we going to do with 15 to 17? Well, that's where this is the one, uh, another Kaplan bid comes into play. What the, the Captain, Cap, Kaplan solution is, if the opener second bid will be one no trump, we're going to redefine that to mean 15 to 17 high card points. And, and the, the reason then, uh, we'll call that Kaplan bid number two, and we're going to bid two clubs with less than or equal to, to 14 high card points. We're not going to bid two no trump, at one no trump with 12 and 14. We're going to bid two clubs. We're gonna, and in essence, we're making the same type of bid that we make over one no trump forcing. So what that allows us to do, if we have this hand, we'll bid two clubs. We're, and uh, that's a perfectly acceptable bid with this. We're only promising three plus clubs. Okay, and with this hand, we'll bid one no trump. That will, and our partner will alert that, and our partner will know that we started out with exactly two spades, five hearts, three diamonds, three clubs, and we've got 15 to 17 points. All right, let's take a look at some examples here. Okay, should the responder use a Kaplan bid in, 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 in these sample hands? Well, on the first hand, our partner opens one heart. And we've got nine high card points and 10 link points. Okay, so uh, we've got four spades. We can't bid two clubs because if we bid two clubs, we're playing two over one. That would tell our partner we've got 12 plus points and we don't have 12 plus points. We only have 10. And besides that, we really want to tell our partner about the spades because our partner could be planning on making an open or reverse. They could have five spades, five hearts, and four spades. So we want to tell our partner as soon as we can that we've got four spades in this situation if we have shortness in hearts. We have shortness in hearts. So because we've got shortness, and we've got four spades. What we're going to do is we're going to bid one spade uh, utilizing the cap 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 bid. Okay, and our partner is going to know that we have uh, uh, that we that in, in this situation we either have four spades with shortness and hearts or five plus spades. Okay, and because uh, our partner knows that, 
they're going to bid two spades if they've got three plus spades. We'll review those bids in a minute. Let's look at the second one here. Okay, in this one, our, our partner opens one heart, and we have, uh, again, we've got nine high card points, but, and we've got four spades, and, and uh, number two, two clubs would be two over one. All right, now, we have no heart shortness. Okay, so we can't, because we don't have shortness in hearts, we have four spades and no heart shortness, we do not bid one spade, okay? We're, remember, we're only, because we, we're going to be uh, playing Kaplan with its companion convention, the uh, Flannery convention. So what are we going to do? We're going to bid one no trump. Okay, by bidding one no trump, our, our, uh, we're, we, we know that if our partner has a, uh, going to, is going to do a reverse to spades, and if they're going to bid two spades, then we're going to easily find game. So it doesn't cost us anything. And if the uh, partner bids again and rebids the hearts, we've got two, we're going to be happy with that. And we might actually, because we've got 10 points, uh, we're going to be close to actually looking at game. All right, okay. Uh, remember, open or denied four spades with less than or equal 15 points by bidding, uh, by opening one heart. That's because opener, we're using the Flannery Convention also. And that's in a later lesson. Okay, let's look at the situation where the partner opens one heart. And responder has got six spades in this, this situation. We've got nine high card points, 11 and one length points. He's got six spades. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna bid one spade, okay? And responder will know that 95% of the time when we bid one spade in this sequence that we have five plus spades. So you can, See the two scenarios in example number one, example number three, uh, where we're going to bid one spade. In one case, we're bidding it with shortness. In the other case, we're, we're bidding it with five plus spades. It's a real spade bid. And, and the, 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 the bidding sequence will allow our partner to, uh, to, to, to see and understand that. And when you've got four spades and you don't have shortness, you're going to bid one no trump or something else. Okay, let's take a look at uh, uh, the, the situation. What is the opener second bid after one heart and one spade? Okay, and actually the one spade should be alerted because it specifically requests the opener to bid two spades with three spades. All right, so what we're gonna look at here with uh, if the opener's got four to five spades, the bids that we're going to make. Now, the only time the opener is going to have four to five spades when it's when the opener was planning on making an opener, opener reverse. They were going to bid one heart, and the plan was to bid two spades, showing that they had uh, uh, five to six hearts and four to five spades. So if you got four, if the opener's got uh, a, a reversible hand, uh, the opener is going to bid four spades with 19 plus points. Why? Because the responder promised at least six. And the opener is going to be the one that discovered the the uh, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the the eight eight plus card fit, and it's going to count distribution points. So, with knowing that they've got enough points to go to game, they're going to bid game. Now, if it's only got 16 to 18, I should put a dash in there. 18. Oh no, this is, uh, this is, if they've got a singleton or a void in one of the suits, they can use a splinter bit. And if they've got 16 to 18, they're gonna bid three spades, inviting uh, the responder to go to game if he or she has probably in the neighborhood of seven to eight plus points. Okay, with only three spades, okay? If the opener has only three spades, the opener is always going to bid two spades with three spades and five hearts and less than or equal to 17 high card points. We, if it, we called earlier, we called that the capital bid number one. Okay, now there is one exception to that. If the opener has 18 to 19 high card points, the opener is going to bid two no trump, which promises two to three spades. Okay, and if the opener bids two, two no trump, 
the responder is going to use the check back system, or you know, some call it also new mind forcing at the three level to show that uh, that he or she has five plus phase and gain going points. Okay. Now, and we'll discuss what the, the, the responder is going to do in relationship to this later. Okay, with two spades and six plus hearts, okay, uh, the, uh, the opener with a standalone heart suit, 1921 points, is going to bid four hearts with less than or equal to two spades. He's, with 16 to 18, he's going to jump to three hearts, uh, inviting gain. And uh, with fewer, it's going to bid two hearts. Now remember the opener with uh, when they the responder when the responder bid one spade over one heart. We that that bid if they've got five plus uh, spades does not deny a bit in hearts. So it's very possible that the, uh, the responder has three hearts. Okay, now with only two spades, uh, other bits that can be made are strong. There's a strong one that can make a strong jump shift with five hearts and four, four to five clubs of diamonds. Okay, uh, and here's where the no trump bit comes in. Okay, uh, with exactly five hearts, two spades, three clubs and three diamonds and 15 to 17 high card points. What the opener is going to do is bid one no trump. And that should be alerted because in standard American, that's six to nine points. Using Kaplan, it takes on this form. Okay. And again, uh, the, uh, we have uh, the, the, the bidding of the miners, just like we do after uh, one no trump semi forcing. We're only going to bid two diamonds with four plus diamonds. And we can bid two, two clubs with three plus clubs. And like I said before, because we're using one no trump to show 15 to 17, we're going to bypass uh, 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 one no trump with less than or equal to 14 bid two clubs. So you can see how these, I've tried to, to, to group these, these bids together so they're easier to understand. Uh, let's take a look at what is opener's second bid. All right, now in this case, we had opener open one heart and then our partner bid one spade. Now we've got three spades, right? Look at that. We've got two, four, six, seven hearts. Okay, now how many spades does our partner have? Well, we know our partner has at least four and uh, five plus 95% of the time. So what we all have a tendency to do is say, I want to bid two hearts. Okay, because we've got 12 high card points, 15 lane points. We don't have extra values there. Okay, it's not a standalone suit. Now, our partner, because they did one spade, should kind of raise a flag in our mind uh, because we also know there's a 5% chance they're going to have shortness in hearts. So if we've got a better fit in spades, we're going to want to be in spades rather than hearts. So let's take a look. We're going to, because we've got three spades and, um, and a heart suit is not standalone, what we're going to do is bid two spades. My partner is going to alert that and say, part, part, you know, like I said, what is that? Is the partner promising exactly three spades? Let's look at this next one here. We've got one heart, one spade. Now, this time we, we're stronger. We've got 18 length points and we only have two spades. So, because we only have two spades, what we're going to look at is we is our heart suit. It's a solid standalone suit. Our partners promised us six plus points. That gives us 24. Okay, so what we're going to do is bid three hearts because that's in the range of 16 to 18. Tells our partner we've got at least six hearts and it invites our partner to go to gain if they're on if they have a couple of extra points or some semblance of support in hearts and in the third example here opener has the the the, the shape of two spades five hearts three diamonds and three clubs and 16 high card points okay and this one 
we part, uh, we've opened one heart, our partner said one spade, and what do we want to do? We want to, in essence, uh, because we've got only two clubs or exactly two clubs, what we want to do is we want to bid one no Trump. And one no Trump in this sequence, and only this sequence, shows this exact shape, five hearts, two spades, three clubs, three diamonds, and 15 to 17 points. All right, let's take a look at a couple of, uh, of, of, of bidding sequences because uh, they, they've come up here. Okay, when our partner bids two no Trump after one opener bids two no Trump, it says they've got 18 to 19 points. Okay, and we'll look at what the responder bid. And if the responder has four spades, then they have less than or equal to one heart. All right, so we're going to try to group these by the number of, uh, of, of, of spades that uh, the, re the responder has. And the responder is the one that did the spades. Okay, with a six plus spade suit, okay, if the responder has seven plus points, they're going to bid four spades. Why four? Because what's 18 plus seven is 25. That's enough for game. Okay, with, uh, with, uh, if they have five spades and seven plus points, what they're going to do is they're going to bid three clubs. This is, is new minor, this is the check back new minor forcing system. And in this situation, if the opener uh, has uh, three spades, he's going to bid three spades. Okay, what he's saying, if the, the responder here is saying, I've got five plus spades, how many spades, do you have three spades? If he says, if the answer is yes, he bids three spades. Now, the uh, uh, opener can decide uh, whether he sim simply wants to be in game or he wants to explore slam. Now, if he doesn't have three spades, he can show a diamond blocker by bidding three diamonds. And the diamond blocker denies having a club blocker. Okay. And if he's got uh, doesn't have if he's got a club blocker but not a diamond blocker, he can bid three hearts, showing that blocker. And if he's got blockers in the diamonds and clubs, he can bid three no trump. Pretty slick. Now, if the uh, if the uh, responder has only four spades. Okay, these up here are when it was a real spade bid, and we've got, if he's only got four spades, if he's got enough points, he can bid three diamonds showing a diamond that block, but that denies having a club blocker, but he also has that singleton heart. Now, normally you don't want to bid, uh, explore no trump with a, with a singleton or a void, but because your partner has bid hearts, uh, you've got the latitude of doing that. Now, if the uh, opener, if the responder uh, does not have uh, the, the club blocker, okay, what he's going to do is bid three spades. So, hey, I, I hear you, you've got 18 to 19, okay? Uh, I don't have a, a, a club blocker. You're going to have to decide where the best it is, and it may be in a 4-3 Moisean bit. Okay, if he's got the club blocker, he's going to bid three no trump. Now you've got the same scenario if your partner bids three hearts, which is not bidding hearts, but saying, hey, I got a club blocker and denies the other blocker. You got the same scenario coming down through here. Okay, and finally, uh, you've got the responder can bid three spades with five plus hearts and a really ugly hand, probably five to six lay points. Okay, and what that is, is a sign-off bid. All right, and obviously the, the, the responder can also pass to no Trump. When and it passes to no Trump, we know he's got four spades also. So you've got these two clusters of bids with four spades, and you've got this one down here with, uh, with, with four spades. Okay, so uh, that's, the, now let's take a look at one more sequence here. And this is where the, the responders bid, the opener's second bid was one no trump. So we had one heart, one spade, one no trump. What this says is, hey, partner, I've got exactly five hearts, two spades, three diamonds, three clubs, and 15 to 17 highest card points. 
hey, let's look at the responder second bits. And again, you know, if the responder has four spades, only four spades, it also is going to have a singleton or a void in the hearts. Okay, so what we're going to look at where is the situation, first of all, where the responder has real spades. So with real spades and 10 plus points, because he's got six, you're treated just like a, 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 a Texas transfer here. Look at it like a Texas transfer. But since it's already bid spades, he knows the no trump bid promises two spades. Must promise two spades. Okay, he's going to go to four spades. If he's a little bit weaker, he's going to invite gain. Okay. Uh, if he has five spades and eight plus points, not six, he's going to ask his partner using new minor forcing the check back system uh, how many spades he or she has by bidding two clubs. That shows in this case five spades and eight plus high card points. And with and we've got here the final spade bid, which is shows five plus spades less than or equal to two hearts. Uh, and uh, it is a sign off. So now let's look at the situation where the responder actually has a fit in uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, op the, the uh, opener's uh, heart suit. Okay, now remember, when the responder bid one spade, the responder was not denying a fit in hearts. Okay, so the responder made, after they told the opener about the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the five, five plus spades, may have three hearts, and after the one no trump bid, now knows if he's got a fit, he only needs 10 distribution points. So we can get four hearts, three hearts, a little bit weaker hand and a fit, two hearts as a sign off with a, 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 fit, a fit with a fairly weak hand. All right, and the last one here is we want to be able to uh, 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 bid, bid game. So, I mean, with uh, three no trump and uh, we, the, the responder can bid three no trump with 10 plus points, two no trump with eight, nine, and can pass with a weak hand. So you can see there's three clusters of bid here, one with the, that we have a, 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 a potential, a, a, we're going to have at least the five, two fit in spades. Another cluster here where we're going to have a potentially a five, three fit in hearts, and the rest that we're going to explore in terms of no trump. Okay, and we've got two more bids down here where we can actually do a high level reverse showing that we started out with four spades and five plus in one of the minors. And then also we can uh, then show blockers by bidding two diamonds. The diamond blocker denies a club blocker. Okay, remember, uh, and in this case, the uh, over the uh, one, one no trump, remember the two clubs up here is new minor forcing. So uh, if we we if we don't get into any of these ones, we're going to end up passing. And of course, if we want to look at slam after this particular auction, because we may know that we've got the, the golden fit in in uh, hearts or spades, that so we can actually investigate slam by bidding Gerber. All right, uh, let's look at one more scenario here uh, where uh, our part, we, we, we bid, the responder bid one spade and the opener bid two spades, okay? And again, uh, what this says is the opener had five plus spades and exactly three, five plus hearts and exactly three spades, okay? And notice, even with six hearts, the opener is going to bid two spades. So, if the opener bids two spades, he's guaranteeing three spades. Okay, now the responder, if the, if the responder started out with five plus spades, they know that they've got a fit established. Okay, they're going to bid four hearts with sufficient points, four spades, three spades. Okay, they're going and uh, with 10 to 11. Now, with uh, and the three spades in this situation is actually a trump suit 
Trump helps you game try. And we can also use Kokish. The Kokish three-way game try is probably one of the best conventions I've ever learned. It gives you, it gives you the uh, opportunity to take two bites out of the apple. Okay, and that's lesson 5.1.12. Okay, and that's a, a later lesson in this course also. Okay, and obviously you can also pass with a very weak hand. Now, the next thing is where you've got a 4-3 fit established. And if it's a 4-3 fit, the, uh, the, uh, the, the responder has a heart uh, single tenor void. Okay, and we have the situation here where the uh, responder can still now make a high level reverse uh, with uh, uh, a five plus diamonds or five plus clubs. And by doing that also then infers that the, open, the responder started out with four spades and it's got a singleton or a void in hearts. Okay, and obviously the, the uh, uh, the, the, the responder can also pass uh, with four spades and, and sign off in a 4-3 Moisian fit. Well, that concludes the, uh, the lesson on Kaplan. Kaplan's rather challenging in that it's just hard to describe. Once you get used to it, it's pretty use, easy to, 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 to use, but it takes a little bit of getting used to. Have a great day.